What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part four for my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So guys, it's been a little bit. In the last episode, we unlocked the paraglider and we unlocked our first piece of the map, which is right here, Central Hyrule. And in today's video, we're just gonna be exploring Central Hyrule, completing a bunch of shrines, maybe unlocking a new area, but more importantly, starting the region phenomenon quest, which will actually allow us to travel to different places and start the main story. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But the first thing I want to do is head over to this yellow pin over here. And over at this yellow pin, there is going to be a nice lovely shrine. So I definitely want to try to complete a few shrines today and get after it. We got a few little weapons. We got nothing really going for us. So we got to get on top of that, grab some shrines, and start making our character stronger. Because once you get them out there with like a stamina bar and decent health you can pretty much do a lot with them but yeah like i said it's been a little bit on oh, actually these guys are actually perfect for me for this playthrough i can toss them around and stuff get some free amber free topazes and stuff all good stuff so i actually really like fighting those guys so we get two free ambers and a nice little bit of flint lovely little amount of flint and do i have any arrows i have 75 that's exactly what i want Need some arrows and of course the chew jellies are here we'll snipe that wolf we'll take some chew jelly we'll get all these guys dead hey he's teeing off on me and i don't think i made any meals oh, i actually have a couple i have a couple they'll, they'll definitely come in handy especially when you're sitting here with like four hearts you really need to start eating a bunch because you get hit once you're pretty much just like down for the count you're like hey yo if i get hit again i'm i'm done i'm done so apples are pretty much my best friend within this game at the moment at the moment but how many shields do i have i have a decent amount of shields do i have any bows i have a few bows okay i like where we're sitting with all the material we have i really do i really do so again trying to grind some shrines and the first area i kind of want to head to it's going to be like the top left so this might be the first area that we explore then we head over to the tabantha region because so i want to do that main quest first for this playthrough because if you head towards that way you can actually unlock the fairy fountain that is how you get over there and get after it so that could be really good but you know what? I'm going to shield surf because it is raining. We get some speed going here. Love shield surfing. One of my favorite things introduced in the Breath of the Wild series. And now I can finally make our way towards the shrine. There's another one over there. Please tell me that is in this area. And it's not. Maybe we'll do it. We might not. Not too sure. I really don't want to head over to that area just yet. But I think in the last episode we completed four shrines. We did. So we have no light of blessing so if we complete another four we can get a another heart container which could be really good for us because we have a heart container and a stamina vessel right now heart container and stamina vessel so yeah i can get another heart container which is good but i would i play i still play on my main account because i'm still trying to 100 percent that and i'm almost done beating the main story i have like a bunch of shrines done trying to finish them all up but the problem is switching from that game to this game like, I love having, like, my three stamina bars running around with them and all that good stuff. <laughs> it's just awesome. But now, coming down here with, like, one stamina bar, you guys are going to see I'm going to run out of stamina a few times. But we make our way to this nice little combat training little shrine. This one's pretty easy. It's just teaching you how to throw items. So we're going to pick off these uh, fire fruits off the tree, and we're just going to throw them at this little, this little booger over here. He wants to smoke. But seriously, huge shout out to everybody who has been uh, watching this playthrough. You guys are real ones. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. All that good stuff. Plenty more episodes coming. I think I'm, I'll try to record a double episode of uh, Scarlet and Violet and this at the same day sometime this weekend. It's going to be really good for us. But I'm just going to take out my items. I'm going to switch it over to my fire fruit and just throw this thing at him. <laughs> Lovely. I think you only have to do it like twice and then you're, you're chilling. A good thing we did get some armor too. I might want to get a new armor piece too. Because you can get a, uh, the first piece of the barbarian armor right off the rip in Central Hyrule. So might want to head to a cave and do that. We're going to grab the rest of this fire fruit. And we're just going to throw it at him again. So I'm going to hold down the throw button. Pull out my item. And just throw it at him. And there we go. Done the shrine already. That's a rather quick one. It's pretty much just a, a free little light of blessing. Nothing's better than when you're doing shrines into raw root blessings absolutely love it um in the korok forest that's later in the game where you get uh where you can start the master's request there's three shrines like there and they're all raw root blessing shrines which means you just walk in you grab the chest and, and then you're done the shrine like it's very very simple and it's just the best but three bomb flowers i love getting bomb flowers because i think bomb flowers are one of the like the more rare items i gotta find a way to farm them because i have like two in my main account and it's just terrible because back in the old game, it was just like, hey, you get bomb arrows. And now you have to fuse bomb flowers to arrows in this game. Which I actually kind of like. I kind of like the fuse. 
I really do with door lift fuse rather than getting ice arrows, fire arrows, shock arrows, all that good stuff. But there we go. One shrine down. I might head up and there should be another shrine rather close to me. I think if I just run straight down, I could hit up another shrine. Or I can run straight up. I think there's two. Is there one this way? Can I see one from this way? I feel like there should be one like up here. There probably is, but I know for a fact there's one down here. I know for a fact there's one down here. Do I want to go to it yet? Maybe I'll head up here and see what's cooking. Because actually, we, oh, we could grab the piece of armor. The piece of armor should be somewhere over here. I think it's, yep, it's right in that cave. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to go grab this piece of armor. I think it's out of the zone, but still. I really want it. So I'm going to head over there, grab that piece of armor, and, oh, I might not have enough stamina to get through this. Swim, Link. Swim! Ah, uh, we're good, we're good. We should be chilling. Oh, cutting it close. <laughs> cutting it real close. But yeah, this cave right here actually has the first piece of barbarian armor that you can get right off the rip in the game. And the barbarian armor is so good. One of the best armors in the game. If you get the full set, you get an attack boost and it's just awesome. So you're doing you're dealing more damage every time you swing. But there's a little blurpy here. I'm gonna shoot him up and he's gonna run towards the cave. Can I hit him again? I did. Lovely. Lovely. Getting a blue rupee too. Getting all the good stuff. And if I hit him again, it'll probably give me something better. Let's see if I can shoot him. I just missed him. He's going to disappear. He's a goner. But yeah, anytime you see a Blurpy, they will lead you right to the cave, which is great. So you can just go right into a cave and get gone from here. But in this cave, the armor that we want is here. We're going to actually go get all this Loomis stone. There's a ton here. Why not get any Loomis stone? I got nothing from that. It's blasphemy. That is blasphemy. Let's see what we get here. This little rock saw, amber. And we get flying here. I think there is going to be like the hands here. Oh no, there's just stone towers, which I kind of want to fight. Not even gonna lie, I kind of want to fight it. And you know what? Let's actually just bomb out of this. We have eight. Let's see if we got any good resources around here. Yep, bunch of flint. Exactly what I wanted. Cool. So if we head over here, I'm trying to find where that armor piece is at. I think if you just keep heading forward, there should be like a hole in the wall. And yep, it is right here. As you can see, there's going to be like these little, I don't even know, like cloths in the air. And then luminous stone chill in there. Just put a bomb arrow towards it. Collect all your stuff. And there's some luminous stone. I've been waiting to get some of that. <laughs> and you can climb this wall and grab yourself some nice, lovely little chest. Inside that chest is going to be the armor that we're looking for. So cool. Dope, dope, dope. And more bonfires. Yo, bonfires are the best. I got to come back here in the main game. Get all the bonfires. There's a ton here. There's a ton here. Oh, we'll grab this luminous stone. Grab this bonfire. And then we'll bounce out of here. Because again, we're in an area that I did not unlock yet. I don't really want to. I don't want to really be floating over here. But there we go. One of the strongest armor pieces in the game. Early on, love to grab it. Barbarian armor. A little bit of attack up. And can I just... I'll actually probably just fast travel, right? After I put this armor on. I think I'll just fast travel. To this shrine. Do I want to hit this shrine? Yeah, I kind of do. I kind of do. I want to get done three more shrines. At least three more shrines today's video. Get another hard container. That would be good. And then try to unlock an area. Or I can head over to the right side where I'm at now and get the Dragon Seer quest. Ooh, there's a lot we could do. There's a lot we could do. There's a lot we could do. But definitely want to want to finish up some shrines. Definitely want to finish up some shrines. So from here, you know what? I'm going to head down this way because I believe there should be a shrine somewhere over here. So I'm going to do it. We don't get cooking. We're going to have stamina now. <laughs> But let's switch this sword back. But I really only use the rock swords for destroying rocks. <laughs> That's really all. I mean, early game, I can swing them around. But late game, no way. There's two weak. They're too weak. We got a few birds over there. Keys, Bakabuns are fighting somebody. Let me just shoot this dude. Come here, Bakabun. Come here, man. Who are you messing with? Get on out of here. Let me talk to this little Impa. Is she not going to give me anything? Are you kidding me? She's not going to give me anything. That is just blasphemy. <laughs> that is ridiculous. But I am going to head over here. Again, I think there should be a shrine somewhere over here. There's one right there, but that's the one I pinged with red. And I hear something behind me. A little chew jellies. I don't feel like messing with you guys. I'll <laughs> just snipe them in the face and dip. Bunch of Baku blends. I'm going to fight these guys, though. Definitely going to fight these guys. And then we have a, what is that thing? An arrow, Aracuda? And I'm going to shoot it. I think they die in like one shot, which is good. Yeah, see, they, he's out for the count. <laughs> you hit him once, they're gone. So we'll get some brand new material here, which is cool. Little Arrowcuda eye. And actually, let's just do this. I see a little, <laughs> little bomb barrel. You gotta smoke it. You gotta hit it with the thing. Got this guy. My wooden bow's about to break. 
The wooden bow is actually on fire. And I guess I'll take the stone axe. These guys with the smoke. I don't even guys die from the what's it called. I'm actually just going to pick up his weapon. Oh, it's a bow. I thought it was a weapon. But how did you guys die from that explosion? I'm just going to drop this. Equip this one. And pull out a new sword. Hmm. She should use a stick. She should use a stick. Mess everybody up. And I like how the uh, the robots are fighting the Baka ones. It's kind of funny. It's actually hilarious. <laughs> it's just going after them. I'm going to actually tee off on these guys. Dang, yo, this stick sucks, man. Drop your sword. I need your sword. I need this thing's weapons. I guess I'll use his axe. Come here, man. Come here. There we go. Now we get a claymore. And we can rough up these guys. This thing's annoying me. <laughs> you, like, put your shield down? Thank you. These dudes are piecing up. Yo, I got five bucks on the robot. Oh! Oh! Yo, never mind, Baku Blin. I just lost my bet all day. Baku Blin messed him up. Yo! That's actually hilarious. Dang, yo, I got smoked in that bet. <laughs> I was like, I'll take Baku Blin all day. Dude gets absolutely sniped in the face. That's actually hilarious. Made my day. Made my day. Peace him up. But there's another shrine. That's that shrine. But I believe there's a shrine inside these rocks right here. If I'm not mistaken. No. Where are these shrines at? I know there's got to be a couple more. But I might go to that shrine over there just so we can unlock or have a close, a close by to the stable. <laughs> yo, that was hilarious. <laughs> Five bucks on the robot. Bakabun said, hey, yo, don't count me out yet. <laughs> Popped him in the face. <laughs> One shot him, which is kind of funny. Actually, really funny. But, yeah, I might go to your shrine. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. If it's right there, you know? It's right there. And I can have a entryway to the stable, too. I'm with it. I'm going to do it. Cool, cool, cool. And usually I don't like to uh, do shrines that are outside of the zone that I'm doing, but since I'm recording and I want to get done four shrines, I feel like we I feel like we gotta do this one. So we got another swimming adventure. Oh, uh, the problem here with the swimming adventure, I'm gonna die. I need full stamina to get across that. Come on, Link, make it up there. Okay, cool. My problem here with the swimming adventure is I can't climb the rock. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Cool. I'm just gonna climb up here, save some stamina. And then I'm gonna go. Come on, Link. Get it. Get across. Get across. My man. That's a problem. Low stamina sucks, man. It's just so bad. I need more. I need more. Uh, where is this thing at? There's a stable. Anytime you see a stable, there's always a shrine nearby. So, always be on the lookout whenever you see a stable. Or like these smoke signals in the air. Because the smoke signals mean stable. And stable means shrine. Awesome. The wetland stables. A little bit of wetland action. And now I can't find this shrine? What you mean? Oh, it's right on my red ping, so... It should be over there. Yep, it's right here. I was gonna say, yo, where's this shrine at? <laughs> so we'll get that another shrine. After the shrine, we need to do two more to get another heart container. Pretty big for us. We love a good old heart container. And we'll just go from there. And I think in the next episode, depending on where we end off, we could definitely unlock a tower. And we could uh, maybe get the Great Fairy Fountain. Ooh. I really want to unlock the Great Fairy Fountain, like, as soon as possible. Start upgrading my armor, making myself stronger, all that good stuff. But we got Forward Force. And how do you do this one? So you got a ball there. We got to get a ball. There's a room there. And actually, I believe I remember this one. And I kind of did it, like, some unorthodox way. It should be, like, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it should be, like, lava or something. Mm-hmm. Lovely little lava. And I'm actually just hop on this thing. Turn the wheels on, grab this ball, and I'm going to just bring it across. We are going to bring this bad boy across. And then we got this thing. And how did I do this? How did I do this? I think I put the ball somewhere. How did I, how did I, how did I do this? Oh, I know exactly how I did this. We're going to attach this ball. I do this like so unorthodox. We're going to do this. Actually, let's move this thing as forward as possible as we can. So we're just going to keep moving it, keep moving it. And then we're just going to drop it. We have the ball attached to it. We're going to climb this ladder as fast as we can. We're going to switch to our rewind. And I know this isn't the way you should be doing it. Can I turn my screen? I know this isn't the way you should be doing it, but it works. And now we're going to pull this back. And at the same time, 
We're gonna hit stop and then bring out our handy dandy tool and grab. No, come here. I'm trying to grab the ball. I grabbed the ball. I need to grab that ball. Come here, ball. Got it. And there we go. Grab the ball. And now we make our way onto the next room. And this way, this one I did a very unorthodox way, too. I always like doing it in a funny way, but I believe the chest should be chilling in the water, right? Where are you, chest? Where are you, chest? I believe there's a chest in the water somewhere. There you are. I knew you'd been around here. I knew you were around here. Come here, buddy. Grab this chest. And yeah, every shrine has a chest, too, which is cool. And we got a strong Zonite sword, which I definitely want. What are we going to drop? What you will drop? We'll drop one of these rock swords. Probably this rock club. Cool. And then from here, I want to show you guys my fun, unorthodox way to do this. So, we're just going to go here, and we're just going to stack all these, all these, uh, planks together. Each and every one of them. Make a big, 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 big. Actually, I might have to move this back, but we got to make, like, a big bridge, kind of. <laughs> always love doing shrines, like, these weird ways. So there we go. So, right now, we have this. Actually, I can go like this. And could I connect this? Move ball. Can we move this ball back? I'm going to attach that to this. And again, we're just making a giant bridge. Because right now I'm going to grab it like this. And I can't even see. Can I get it up on this ledge? I can't even get it up on this ledge. Pull this back. I have to get it all the way up on this ledge. There should be a ledge here. And if I can... Nope. Did not get it up on the ledge. Oh, actually, let's do this. Pull it back towards me. Get it up on that ledge. And once we get it up on this ledge, we'll create like kind of like a bridge, right? Yep, cool. So now we have a bridge to get up there. We can pick up the ball and we can run straight up it. Again, this game is just awesome for being able to do things your own way. Because what the game wanted us to do was like grab the raft and like go across this little river pond. Like, see that? You want to go up against the current, but I said, screw that. Screw that. We're not doing it that way. We're doing it my way. My way or the highway. So from here, I'll just toss the ball over there. Jump off. They'll give me the little do 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 sound. And we can now leave this place by hitting this button. Should open up the door. And back to the beginning where we had to place this ball. Inside of here. Cool. Shrine number two done for today. Two to go. Two to go and uh, some more exploration. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm really thinking of where I should go first. Should I start the Dragon Tear quest or should we go towards the Fairy Fountain? I think I want to go towards the left side first and get Fairy Fountain. It's just so important. Upgrading your armor. It's so good. It's just lovely. So there's that shrine done. We can head back into Central Hyrule looking for shrines. I think there might be one near that pond right on that map. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. It's it's it's. We're getting a drink break here. So let's keep it moving. Um, should I go back to the shrine? No, I feel like we can just go across the river. To the bottom of this pond. But there's this little mob one, which I don't want to face. I don't feel like facing you. There are wells. Wells in this game, I believe there's a reward for finding all 58 wells. So if you're if you're looking to do that, 100% your game and do all the wells, get on down there. There's one right there. Right near the wetland stable. I think most stables have wells too. So there's that. Shrines and stable and uh, wells at stables. Really cool. But I'm gonna take my paraglider, get as far across as I can, and we're gonna make our way back here. And know the Sky Islands are so cool. I love the Sky Islands. <laughs> but let's go over here. Because again, I think there should be a shrine somewhere over on this side. If not, I'm just an idiot, but I believe there is. I believe there should be a shrine. But I don't see it, so I'm there probably not. There probably isn't a shrine. I mean, I'll head up to this pond and see there's a wild boar running after me, which is kind of funny. But if there's not a shrine here, I'm going to head back. I see a shrine up there. That's for that tower, too. And usually by the towers, too, there's a shrine, so. Whenever there's, like, big markers, there's always there's always a shrine. They have to drop you a fast travel point there. Well, Mr. Shrine, where you at? Where you at? Huh. That Baku boy that needs a beating. I got gotcha. you. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. What you want? Hey. Hopefully, I got a shield. Oh, I chopped the tree down at the same time. Got a lovely little acorn. I take out these birds, too. 
I'm a sucker for, for raw, raw meat thighs right there. There we go. Raw bird drumstick. Okay, cool. We make it to this pond. Now, is there a shrine or not? It is not. I could have sworn there was. I'm a liar. It's fine. I'm gonna actually going to head back this way because I think there's a shrine on that pathway. So, we're going to head it instead of down. We just headed down towards the shrine. We're going to head up. Shrine hunt right now. Two more shrines, and then we'll start going towards the next area as quickly as possible. But yeah, that's something I really like about this game. It's just a it's just an exploration factor. Just being able to explore. And a quick little tip here: cherry blossom trees, very very important. The reason I say that I'm gonna ping it on my map is because I'm not gonna do it now. But anytime you see a cherry blossom tree, you could talk to the lady sitting under it. And she will light up every single cave on that piece of land, which is really cool. So anything in Central Hyrule, oh, there's the shrine. There's the shrine. I knew there was one over there. And of course, I ping this tree, which is kind of funny. <laughs> of course, I ping the tree. I want to ping the shrine. And of course, I ping that tree. <laughs> That's lovely. But we know there's a shrine over there, and there's a shrine up there. I haven't done that one yet. That's all the way up on top of the castle. So when you go late game or before you go into the castle to fight the final boss, highly recommend doing that shrine. Boneyard Bridge, baby. Boneyard Bridge. But yeah, Cherry Blossoms, they'll light up every single cave, which is huge because there's always good rewards in caves. As you guys just saw, we had a nice... Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Chill on me. We got a nice little... What's it called? Barbaric armor. Okay, I gotta hit you again. Come here. Let me throw you on the ground. I just kicked him. <laughs> Those things are so annoying, but they do give out some good parts. And they give out very strong arms that are worth fusing to weapons, which maybe I should have done, but still. Made some really strong weapons. Where are you, Shrine? Are you in this area? I'm very curious to see. You are right on the outside. And this was the one that I thought was up higher in the back. It's like in like a little crater, which is cool. So there we go. We'll bang out this shrine and then we'll head towards that left side because there should be one shrine over on that left side. And then at the same time, we could probably do a tower. Cool. Cool. Make it some good time in here. Making guys some good content. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are enjoying, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed, I seriously don't know what you're doing. Why would you be watching this long if you're not subscribed? <laughs> Finish up my water down Gatorade. And we'll get after it. If you guys do not know, I water down my Gatorade. I go like half and half. Especially for like... For like uh... Like if I'm playing, if I have like a hockey game or something, or if I'm like working out, like anytime I'm sweating, I usually like to bring like a watered down Gatorade. Oh wait, you gotta rewind this thing. And the reason you you're actually supposed to do that, it's actually uh, cause like just like a full bottle of Gatorade by itself, it's like too much sugar and all that, and like too many electrolytes. So like so, if you water it down, you stay hydrated and you get the electrolytes at the same time. But we have to actually there's a chest right there, and I will actually just lay it on fire. You have a torch there if you wanted to use it, but I think you can actually just swim across this thing, can't you? I don't think you need the platform. Unless I can't climb. Oh, there's a ramp. Come here, ramp. Cool. So we shoot that down. We grab ourselves this lovely little chest. What we got? Give me something good. It's probably going to be like opal. I'll take a strong construct bow. I'm about it. Yeah, that's my strongest bow we have so far. We'll drop this one. Dope. Actually, we'll drop the one that we have. Get this one out of here. And we'll pick up this one. Alright, so now we're cooking. We're going to rewind this thing right here. Get on that, and we'll make our way back. Oh, actually, how do we open it? Isn't this door not open? Did I miss something? Yes, yeah, door's not open. Oh, we gotta just light it on fire. The oldest puzzle in the Legend of Zelda book. Lighting torches on fire to open doors. That was like OG stuff. OG stuff. Light the torches on fire. They make our way here and oh how do we do this one how do we do this one so we got a ball i'm guessing we put the ball here actually we probably just gotta do this because this ball probably opens this door what door does that open top one or bottom one it opens top and then we're gonna take this ball and move it down here 
and then from there, that door will open. Then we go into the other one. Then I believe we rewind it, right? I believe we get it, hit it with a rewind. That makes sense, right? Let me see. Can I hit that ball? I can. Cool. So we can rewind it. It is going to go back to that hole. Dope. And then we got to run through the door. Open up door. Cool. Then we just pause it. Awesome. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Done the shrine. Three out of four on my agenda. We killing it. We are killing it. It is good. To know, it is good for me that I already know how to do most of these shrines. So I'm not just sitting here wasting a video of me just trying to figure out these puzzles. Because like my first playthrough, I would sit there and I'd be like, dude, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> and I would like be struggling, wasting half an hour on some of these shrines. Because some of the shrine puzzles are awesome. I absolutely love them. I think they did a very, very good job with the puzzles with it. But from here, now I can head over towards the left side. And I think this shrine is going to be a perfect spot to start. So I want to check up and then I kind of just want to head to the left and try to get this tower done. So we'll get a heart container in today's video. We'll get a new piece of land. Oh, we thriving. And we got a new piece of armor. This was actually, we did a good bit. We did a good bit so far. 11 shrines done. So much to do. There's too much to do in this game. That's what me and my friends were talking about. We were playing this. We're like, well, we're like, wow, there's just too much to do, which isn't a bad thing. We're just like, there's just, I could do so much. You can get easily sidetracked it. You can do thousands of different other things. But I'm going to head up here and there might be a shrine this way. I mean, I can probably just head up to the top of this mountain. See, I see there's a shrine right there, which I kind of want to ping. We'll be on the way to the tower because there's the tower. I believe that's the tower that we want to go to, right? It's the exact tower we want to go to. I'm just going to head up here, see if there's any more shrines lurking around in the central Hyrule field. And then we'll go from there because this is actually a great lookout spot. Is that a shrine up there? How far is that? Six million miles away. We do, we do not want to do that one. I just want to see how far it was away. <laughs> I think it's so far. But I can head up to the top of this little cliff to get a nice little lookout. And that's what's good. If anytime you guys see like a high point, try to get up on it. And you can really see like if there's any shrines or things you miss. And I hear Korok seed. Oh, there you are, you little booger. Come here. Come here. God dang Korok seeds. I still got to do that in my main game. Collect all the Korok seeds. For this game, I'm not going. Oh, is this my first Korok seed? This is my first Korok seed. Wow. Yeah, but for this game, I'm not going to be finding all the Korok seeds for this playthrough. It's just not happening. I'm not doing it. But I will collect a good amount just so I can upgrade my weapon slots and inventory. And it'd be really good. But I do not see a shrine. But I say we should get out of here. And I'm with that. So I'm actually just going to use my glider. I'm trying to glide as far as I can. and uh, I'll just go to the bridge. Make life easier. And we'll head up to that shrine and towards that tower. Nice little fox. I want to fight some enemies still. Nothing was better than the Baku when beating up on that robot. That was hilarious. <laughs> Definitely gonna clip that for for me to look back on like in 20 years and laugh at it. <laughs> Let's see what we got over here. Anything? Probably like Korok seed. Maybe a well. What you got over here? Nothing. Oh, we got. Do I fight this thing? I think we're gonna give it a try. Heck yeah, I'm gonna give it a try save here because I know I'm going to die, but heck yeah, I'm going to give it a try. Let's see if I can fuse any good weapons or any good items towards my weapons. Fuse power. We need something high with fuse power. Amber has four. I mean, Amber's not bad. Anything better? Get this. Might as well just use this. I'm just going to hold this and drop that. Drop that and then pull out my sword. What sword do I want to fuse? Probably this thing right here. Rusty Claymore. I love fuse. Alright, let's do it. Come on, Hinox. He's got some good weapons, too. Take his food real quick. <laughs> oh, this thing has mad health. Alright, he might, he might one-shot us. I'm not going to lie. But I'll show you guys a little secret. Bring out the bow. Bring out some keys high balls. Bang. Crit shot all day. Start teeing off on this dude. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. Let's bring it back out the key side ball. We might do this every time. Oh yeah. I could take a sword right now if I want to, but I wanna I wanna earn it. I wanna earn it, you know? Bring back out the key side ball. Come here. 
Oh no, I can't run. Let me run. Chill. <laughs> I ran out of stamina. Come on, look up at me. There you go, buddy. I think my sword's about to break, which kind of sucks. Yep. And I will bring out. I'll bring out this little Zonite sword. Oh man, get back. <laughs> Gotta bring back out the key side balls. Oh, that wasn't a crit? Hey! Chill! Chill on me, man. There we go. <laughs> God dang, Henix. I think beefs up some shots, doesn't it? Oh, he's gonna like sit down on me. Run back towards the bridge. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna just throw a sword at him. It's gonna break. Oh, I hit him right in the face! <laughs> Yo, that's a heck of a shot. That's a heck of a shot. And I'm gonna bring out another item to fuse here. Another Moblin Horn. Let's go. Come on, boy. That was a heck of a shot. That was a heck of a throw. Right to his eye. Ooh, we're killing this one pretty well. I'm actually just gonna do a normal shot here. I just missed his eye. Oh, he's blocking it. Chill me, man. There you go. That should be enough. We should be able to finish him off here. And there we go. Taking on the Hinox, no problem. Getting some good weapons. A Traveler's Claymore. A Traveler's Bow. We don't actually need that bow, so it's fine. And let's see what else he drops. He'll definitely give out some good material. Oh, yeah. Some Hinox tubes. We get some good feasible stuff. Mighty Bananas. Nice couple Mighty Bananas. Enox Horn, Fuse Power of 12. Palm Fruits, a bunch of new stuff that we haven't got before. Bolt Fruit, and another Toenail. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Man, we've been doing some cool things today's video. I was just like, screw it, I'll throw this thing at him. Hit him right in the eye. <laughs> Didn't take one lick of damage, played that one pretty well. And now my Boko Reaper is badly damaged. But there is a Blurple over here. A Blurpy? Blurple, Blurple. Blurple, Blurpy. And again... Like I said earlier, this thing will lead you straight to a cave, which I kind of want to see. Now, the cave's right in front of me, but I will still shoot it just to get its coinage. I missed it. Oh, no. I hit him. He gave me about 20. Cool. So there's the cave there. I do want to go do the shrine first. Oh, there's a stable. So, again, killing two birds with one stone. Actually, let me see what's inside this cave. Give a little cave exploration. Discovery. Oh, there's a lake like in here. I think there's a shrine all the way over. You know what? I'm going to say screw this and dodge the like likes. I'm not dealing with them. Oh, is it raining? Yo, did he eat me? All right, that's enough out of you. Actually, I can just do this. Watch this. We're just going to zoom past them. That's fine. <laughs> Make things easy for us. And I think there might be a shrine somewhere up here. If we keep going through. Oh, no. I believe there's armor in here. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. We're, again, we see those little bandanas. That means, like, there's a chest or something around here. So I'm going to keep heading this way. Is there a monkey above me? There is. Chill! Shoot him down. I'm dipping. And actually, yeah, there's armor. Should be right behind this waterfall. All day, baby. And we get a fish. Cool. Glowing cave fish. New fish for me to cook. And is there, like, a standing spot? Yep. And here we go. I remember this. This should be the climbing gear. It should be climbing gear, so a two-piece of armor? Your boy's thriving. Your boy is thriving. Can I get out of here? Cool. <laughs> Dope. So two pieces of armor, and where did I just land? Oh. Cool. I'll take that. I'll take little blurple guy. Where are blurple gem? Dope. Oh, I just ended up there. I'll take that all day. But now I can just ascend back out, and we should just be right above where we left off. So the shrine should be a little bit ahead of us. Yep, there it is. And there is actually a what's called here, too. There is one of those uh, geoglyphs. Which, if you guys are, like, playing this game, and you're just, like, running through, not looking at the memories or following the main story, I highly advise it doing the Dragon Deer's quest and going to all the geoglyphs. The story is phenomenal. I, I, like, dude, it's really good. They really, like, upgraded this game from Breath of the Wild, making it a great story, making it, like, a good way to implement the story instead of just going and finding, like, glowing memories. I really do like it, so I highly recommend it. But we make our way to our fourth shrine of the day, exactly what I wanted to do. 
grind it out. We'll finish it up. We'll go do the tower, and then we'll collect our heart piece. Cause I, I will have four. Which is good. So uplifting device. How is this one? I believe it's fans, and we're gliding on fans. Is that what we're doing? What is that thing? Oh no, this shrine sucks, man. This shrine stinks. Kid you not. This shrine might be one of the worst shrines. It's a bad shrine. It's not a bad shrine, but like, it's a pain in the neck shrine. Can we like, I try putting that on flat. Get off of there, little rascal. There we go, put that there. Yeah, this shrine's a pain. We might not do the chest for it. But all we want to do is now grab this. No, we don't want to go up. Now we want to get on it. Cool. So you got to use the candles to make hot air balloons, but dude, it's a pain. It's a pain. Maybe, I, hopefully I can do this like pretty easily for you guys, but I'm telling you guys, this one's a pain. So there we go. Make our way towards the second area. We could have just taken it up more. And can I grab this thing actually? And actually we want to get rid of this part. This part can go away. We take the candle and put it inside. I think you put it inside of this thing, right? And actually grab this thing and put it under here. Can I? I can't even drag it. Come on. I'm trying to let it hit that button. Hit the button, please. Oh, come on. Just move. Just move a little bit forward. Can I not grab that thing? Are you kidding? I can't grab that? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I need this door to open. And I can't grab that? Can I ascend up? To go get that down? Cool. So I will ascend up. I probably could have just rewinded that. Can I not grab this thing? You know, let me go down lower. Oh, now I can grab it, but I cannot. Let me grab it. No. No. Can you just move over? Is there another balloon somewhere? All right, cool. There's another balloon. <laughs> There's another balloon. We'll make this easy. We'll put it right at the door. We'll grab the next candle. We'll just stuff it in there. Come here. Oh, why are you moving? Can you hit the button, please? Thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted. <laughs> That's what I wanted this whole time. There we go. Make your way onto the next area. And this is uh, where I believe it gets hard. Because there should be like, yeah, there's two balls here. The small ball gets that door open, which is really the only one we want to do. The big ball gets the other door open. The big ball is pain. I think we're just going to skip that one. Actually, I could just make it like easy like this. Gonna make life super easy. Actually, I think I just did this harder than I had to when I first did this thing. I can honestly just do this. Put this in there and then go up. Yeah, I think I just made this harder where I was terrible at this game. This one's actually not hard at all. <laughs> this is not hard at all. Let me grab this ball out before anything happens. Can I grab you out of here. There we go. No! The ball! Any more balloons? Don't. Okay, cool. No Any more platforms? Don't tell me there's no more wood. I gotta go up there and get the wood? Can I rewind you? Yeah, come here. We're bringing, we're bringing that straight back. Come here. Get back here. <laughs> there's no more wood? What do you mean there's no more wood around here? Come here. I wonder if I can grab this with the hand from here. I don't think I can. Blasphemy. That's wild. Looks like I gotta do it this way. Damn. That sucks. Where's that? No! Can I head up there? That is awful. That does suck. I had the ball right there. <laughs> I, I legit just ran through it. Oh, come here. Let me grab you. Let me grab you. Yeah, get over here. Oh, actually, now that that candle's off, we can just drop this down there. Oh no, the hot air balloon's moving again. Chill, no! My platform! It's on fire. 
You know, I have, I have an idea. Let's go here. We need a ball. We don't need a platform. We don't need a platform. Oh, there's a platform back, but I'm thinking just doing it that way. Cool. And then meeting it up there and grabbing it out the air. That's my plan. Not dealing with this anymore. <laughs> well, where's my balloon? There you are, buddy. Buddy old pal. Come here, balloon. Come, I can't drag these things. Come here. This thing is so annoying. Let me unattach this thing. Now I grab this thing. Finally. Jeez, man. Jeez. You. Such a pain. Such a pain. I think I was right. This thing, this, this thing was a pain. But hey, we grabbed ourselves our fourth light of blessing. Now we can head towards that tower. Unlock that tower. We'll get a heart container before we finish up today's video. Cool. Jeans is buzzing. Jeans is buzzing in Tears of the Kingdom. Two pieces of armor as well. One, I wanted to get the other one, which is like, hey, it's there. Let's grab it. I do like the climbing gear, though. It really comes in clutch, especially when you're, you're like traversing through the, through the uh, land. I feel like it's like one of those ones you should probably grab early. There we go. We're here. And how far is that tower? That's not too far. We can make it over there. Not too bad. A little bit of a little bit of a hike. We'll make it happen. I wish this was my newer game. I could grab my horse. I had I have horses from Breath of the Wild. I have like a Ponus horse, Ganondorf's horse. I had the Royal horse. I had them all. Awesome. And do I have enough stamina to actually make this climb? I sure hope so, man. <laughs> One wheel of stamina is awful. Let's get up here. Let's get to the highest point. Let our stamina charge up. And yeah, we can actually have plenty of stamina to climb this. Dope. And now we just need to make our way towards the tippy top of this mountain. E tippy top and is there a way that I have to go through this? I might have to go through that cave. I'm trying to remember because if you guys if you guys haven't played this game yet, most of the towers have like a little quest or like a little puzzle to solve. Wait, bird. Little puzzle to solve to actually unlock it. Some of them actually don't, which is just awesome. I'm kinda hoping that's one. But yo, my boy Hestu's over here. My boy Hestu! So Hestu is like the king of the Koroks. He's the man. He's a giant Korok. Whenever you get Korok seeds, you go to him and he can upgrade your weapon stash. So I'll actually just... Actually, no, I'll talk to him because then he'll go back to... Uh, he'll go back to what's it called? Our main spot. But he says Shakalaka, which is kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie. Shakalaka. There's trees over there. So scary. Shakalaka. And actually, I'll do that. I'll do that next, next video. It's a little side quest. You gotta just fight these trees right here. And they're actually, I don't think they were in the last game, those enemies right there. The trees? They wild. Little Blurple. You got any coins for me, Blurple? One. One rupee. And it leads us to this cave over here, which I believe there's a shrine down there, but we'll worry about that another day. Another recording. And this time, we just want to make our way towards this tower. And I think this one might, oh, I didn't even see you, Fox. Come here. I believe this tower does have a little bit of a puzzle. Let's see. Is it surrounded by water? It might be. This one surrounded by water? I believe it is. It is. Okay. So this one, I kind of did a funny way. And you know what? We're going to try it. I think I just went here. And I just started chopping down these trees. As many trees as I can. Come here, tree. Chop them all down. Need as many logs as we can. And what we're going to do is pick them up. And we are going to connect them. What is that? Oh, mini rock guy. Come here. Let's throw them at each other. Ugh. I miss him? That's ridiculous. But he did give out a nice piece of flint. Flint and amber. Okay, cool. Oh, there's another one. Come here. Hey! What you doing? Come here. <laughs> I, love, I love just picking him up. We need the wood. More wood the merrier. Take this wood again. We will do this. And we shall connect it. 
So I think we need like one more. And we got a Hylian Pylian Killer. A Hylian Pylian Killer. Give me a stick. I believe this is how I did it. I think I just made like a long stick bridge and walked across it. Is it big enough? Guess we'll find out. Oh, can I not pull it through that? Just about to drag it back this way. <laughs> this thing's massive. Why am I turning it? I don't want to turn it. Why is it turning like crazy? Chill, stick! What are, you, what are you doing? Why why is this thing going crazy? Dude, what is going on with this stick? What is it do you know what we're dropping it? We'll try again. We'll try again. Actually we have it straight here, so kinda just wanna grab it. And put it out there. Get up there. It is long enough. Now the real question is, can we walk up this? Get up there, Link. Is this how I did it? I think I did it this way. Actually, this is not how I did it, but we're going to try it. It's actually not how I did it. I'll show you guys exactly how I did it. I remember now. There should be a little crevice in the ground over here. And if I can just drop this in the water over there, we can go to the crevice and then just ascend through. Yep, there's a little crevice. Let me take this. Put it like right there. And now we should be able to walk across. Yeah! Yeah! Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're cooking and now I can bring out my ascend. And can I not ascend through this? There we go. I was going to say, I was going to say, I know I did it that way. So very cool way of actually doing this. We're going to ascend up. We can now climb up to the top of this and we get the, can I not? I guess I have to walk around. And we get the Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. So cool. We're going to get ourselves another tower and we're going to finish off today's video, which is awesome. So I did like everything I wanted to do today, which is awesome. Big fan. Examine. We got a new piece of land. I love discovering the map, too. Can I skip this sequence? I can't. It's kind of ridiculous. But I always do like this scene. I always do like flying down. This is actually our first tower that we did on our own. The other one was like a given one. Now everything is just open world. Why is it showing us this cutscene again like this? That I can't skip. It is a cool cutscene, though. There we go. Second area unlocked. We got the Lindor Brow Tower, and there's going to be a decent amount of shrines. And we get the sky stuff, too, which is awesome. Always good to get it right on your map. So we get that. We can float down. And actually, I'm not even going to float down. Actually, I might just want to pick some shrines if I see any. Actually, that's where we'll start tomorrow. I actually just want to go all the way back to Lookout Landing. Travel there. And I want to cash in my Lights of Blessings for... Another heart container. So we can have five heart containers and one extra stamina vessel. And then next time we get four, we're just going to half and half it. Every four we get, we're going to switch from heart container to stamina vessel. So next one will be the stamina vessel. But yeah, usually once you get to like a full extra stamina wheel and like maybe like eight hearts, you're really thriving with this game. You can really just go, go around, do as you please. <clears throat> but this is the only praying station I know of that we have right now in Lookout Landing. So I hang around here and we might have to do Hest too next video if i remember if i remember but praying stations over here we're gonna cash it in and we are gonna grab ourselves our fifth heart container for this playthrough cool and the cutscene's always cool too I, I always wanted like a glass replica or like a a replica of the heart container because look how cool that looks it looks so cool that looks really cool i'm a big fan i'm a big fan but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. As in the next episode, part five, we're going to be continuing our exploration and probably unlocking...
the Great Fairy Fountain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.